What are we supposed to be doing again? We're looking for Muriel Goldman, honey. Hello? Is anybody up here? Murderer. Let me ask him. Meow, meow, meow? Meow, 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 meow? We don't all talk like that. I happen to be a professor. Our apologies, sir. I should imagine so. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have papers to correct. Hello? Chris, I'm worried with this killer on the loose. If I should die, I just want you to know that they might find some things. Strange things. Things that don't make sense to you. Um, okay. And there's gonna be a lot of talk. Nasty talk. And I just want you to know, for me, it's all gonna be out of context. I don't know what that means. It means if I die, you gotta burn my house down! Oh, sweet, a pool table. Let's see if we can find some cues. It's okay. It's just the stuffed bear from the great outdoors. Did you see the great outdoors? No. You suck. Hey, I found the pool cues! Meg? Looks like I'm all alone. Well, hey, that's all right. I watch a lot of movies. I can just use my imagination. Hi, Carl. Hey, Bear. So, um, in the bear world, are, like, pandas your version of interracial children? Yeah, pandas aren't something I agree with. They're cute, though, right? Just when they're babies. Muriel! 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 Nothing. Well, you actually know what she smells like? I know what everybody smells like. Carl? She does. Maud? Pennies. Derek? Brute. Joe? Feces. Consuela? Pledge. Seamus? Wood. Quagmire? Wood. Wow. You know, I have to admit, before this Muriel thing, I actually thought you might be the murderer. Oh my god, so insulted. Trust me, if this were my work, it would be much more artful. There's a poetry to what I do. You know how I would have killed James Woods? How? I would have electrocuted him, causing a temporary paralysis. And while he was still conscious but unable to move, I would have reached into his anus and pulled out his lower intestine slowly, hand over hand, like a fancy magician's scarf trick. Then I would fashion the lower intestine into a crude giraffe and give it to his children as a Christmas morning stocking stuffer. And then, as his eyes start to close in final submission to death's cold embrace, I'd point to the ceiling and say, Is that your card? And stuck to the ceiling is the card that he picked earlier. Oh, I've got to tell you, he picked a card earlier. Wow, you're an artist. Oh, thanks. You're nice. I screwed that up. Muriel! Oh, yeah, like she's gonna answer you, Tom. And here we go with the attitude. This is why you're single. Oh, so I'm not supposed to point out when you do something stupid? You hear that? You hear that tone you're using? That's penis repellent right there. Careful. She could be hiding behind any one of these statues. Muriel, this is Tom Tucker from the Channel 5 News. Perhaps you'd like an autograph. Oh, for God's sakes, do you hear yourself? There it is. Psst. Knock it off! Hey, wait a minute. Doesn't feel like there's any wall here. What do you think's in there? I don't know. Looks scary. What do you think, Holly? I miss Holly. <sighs> I better take a look. No! I'll go first. Do you see anything? No, it's... It's too dark. Tom? Tom! Boy, it's really raining hot. Yeah, well, we needed it. What? Peter, we've been married a long time. Why do I still get Guy in an elevator small talk? I don't know. You're the one talking about the weather. So... Looking forward to the weekend?
It's okay, it's just us. Ah, uh, Quagmire Bonnie, you scared us. Have you seen any sign of Muriel? Oh, why didn't I think of this before? I should just check the Find a Jew app on my iPhone. Huh, there's just two big clusters on each side of the country. Oh, no, look, there's one down south. Oh, they got him. Be careful. Muriel could be in any one of these pantries. Dr. Hartman? Doctor? Okay, quit messing around. Dr. Hartman, this isn't funny. We sound too much alike. I know. Okay, um... Uh, uh, lost in space. Yeah, okay, um... Uh, uh, that's Dick Van Dyke. Okay, um... Oh, okay, I, I, I got one. Um... Da, da, da... Da, 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 da... Na, 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 na. I have no idea. Linda Evans and John Forsyth, they're coming down big long stairs. Come on, Brian, you know this. We're all rich and we're all at least in our late fifties. Think Joan Collins. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, Brian, you know this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's the middle trumpet part. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It was a pretty big deal for Diane Carroll to play a rich black woman in the 80s. Come on, Brian, right, you, you don't know this? Uh, Falcon Crest? Oh, it's Dynasty! Oh, yeah, I, I, I didn't watch that. What's that? Oh my God, Muriel, my sweet Muriel. She was so young. She was so beautiful. She was so generous. Uh, we were married. Look, this is the same knife that killed James Woods. Oh my God. Then Muriel wasn't the killer. Well then, who is? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. We don't find out before this storm lets up. We're all gonna be dead by morning. <laughs>